This video will show how you can assign OpenDNS web filtering at your Wi-Fi router. Using OpenDNS, you are able to get basic internet security and web content filtering for your whole house for free. OpenDNS works at the network level, so, it protects all the devices on your home network, regardless of their operating system or browser. First, go to the OpenDNS sign-up page, and create a free account. When you are done creating an account, you will need to confirm via the email address you provided. Click the button Add a Network. It will detect your network IP on its own. If it doesn't, open What is My IP website, and you will get to know your IP there. Enter a name for identifying it later. Once your IP is added, Click the IP address to manage it. As you can see, there are different levels of content filtering. You can choose from the predefined ones, or you can create a custom filtering level to meet your needs. I will be using the highest level of filtering, which blocks adult sites, social networking sites, video sharing sites, and more. In the next section, you can also choose to always block or never block a domain. You can use it to manually add websites to blocked list or whitelist. Once you have done, Click on Apply to save changes. You can also enable the stats and logs option, to know what kind of traffic is going in and out of your network. This is useful if you want to keep track of what websites your network users are visiting. You are all done configuring your DNS server. Now, we have to configure our Wi-Fi router to use the OpenDNS server. If you don't know how to change DNS of your router, you can go to the OpenDNS Router Setup page, then, choose the manufacturer of your router to see the instructions. I have a TP-Link router. Once you are done, visit this link to check if you have successfully configured the OpenDNS. To see the result immediately, you may need to clear all caches on your browser. Now that you are all set, let us see if the filters are working properly. Since I have disabled social networking websites in my OpenDNS settings, I will try opening Facebook. If the filter has acted properly, here is what you will see on your browser. Dynamic IP gets changed every time you restart your router. So, if you are using a dynamic IP, you need to frequently update your OpenDNS account with your current IP. We'll use OpenDNS Updater software for that purpose.
Enter your OpenDNS account credentials and click sign in. The program will now run in the system tray and automatically update your OpenDNS account with your current IP. So guys, that's about this tutorial. If you followed all the steps, OpenDNS should have been successfully installed on your network.